Hi, first and second graders. Welcome back to art class. This is day two of our self-portrait project. So if you have not drawn your self-portrait, I need you to go to the video below this, do those steps, and then come back to this one. All right, the first thing I need you to find is, remember on the very first day of art and we talked about getting some sort of sketchbook or a folder for your artwork? So I found these at Target, pretty cute. And I did, remember we had, to, we had to do a drawing on the first day and we had to do our hearts? Well, I did hearts, but you could do whatever you wanted. So here is my sketchbook. I um, want you to either get out your folder that you made to keep your artwork in or whatever you're using like a sketchbook. And I need you to open to a brand new page, okay? I already wrote on this page, but I'm gonna pretend like I didn't. A brand new page, okay? Um, and what we're going to do in on this page is we are going to be writing character, character traits of ourself, just like our self portraits. So this artwork is about us. So um, I want to help refresh your memory because I know you guys have talked about character traits before, but not in art class, right? We talk about those in ELA or reading class. So I have a book that you may know or you for sure know. Um, and Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus by Mo Willems. And what I want you to help me think about is what the character traits are of this pigeon. So the way that he acts are his character traits. So the way that you act are your character traits. So if you're kind and loving and gentle and compassionate, then those are your character traits. But character traits can be good and they can be not so good, but we're not talking about things like I have curly hair or I have brown eyes. Um, we're not talking about those kind of characters. We're not talking about those kind of traits or physical traits. We're talking about character traits, who you are as a person. So I want you to think about this pigeon. I would say if I were to come up with some stuff about this pigeon, I would say, and if you haven't read this book before, we can read it a different day. I would say that this pigeon, the way he's looking right here, is kind of lovable, right? <laughs> he's like looking like, hey, can I, can I ride that? Can I ride that bus? I feel like he, um, so I would say he's lovable. I would say that he's smart. He knows what he's doing. He knows how he's going to try to get what he wants. He is um, very good at getting his way, right? Because he's like, please. He, I would say, um, he's very good at making an argument for himself, right? Um, I also think that maybe the pigeon, I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna skip back here. Whoa, I would say the pigeon is a little bit dramatic, would be maybe a good word. So those are all character traits of the pigeon, which I really love this book. Maybe we should draw a pigeon someday. All right, some other ones that I came up with when I was thinking of character traits for him, I came up with dramatic, sneaky, because you know how he's like waiting for the bus driver to leave? I would say he's determined, right? Because he keeps trying and keeps trying, he keeps trying. I think he's a dreamer because he's got these big ideas, right? He's not just thinking that I'm a bird, I'm gonna fly, he's gonna drive a bus. Um, I think he's charming and I think he's lovable. So maybe you're some of these things, but we're only gonna be using our positive characteristics for this. So I want you to now um, take your sketchbook or your paper that's in your folder, and I would like for you to write down words that are your um, character traits. Now, I would say sometimes these words are hard to come up with because we get kind of caught up in thinking like, I'm a mom, I'm an art teacher, I have brown hair. Um, instead, I want you to think of, not instead of like who, like your jobs, but I want, or like the color of your hair, I want you to think about who you are. So what you can do is you can take your paper and you can maybe ask your older siblings 
To describe you, what words would they use to describe you? You could ask your teacher in morning meeting how they would describe you. You could ask your family that you live with, um, and you're gonna write those words down, okay? So some words that I came up with are silly, and these aren't necessarily my words, these are just good character trait words. Silly, smart, sweet, talented, brave, dependable, caring, funny, gentle, and loving. So I want you to come up with your character traits, okay? And if you want to, if you're having a hard time thinking of some, um, just kind of put it to the side for a second and we're gonna do some coloring and then we're gonna use those words in a little bit. Okay, so you guys have already done your drawing, right? Last week you did your drawing. The first thing I want you to do is I want you to color what you drew last week. So, um, I, and if you, so I colored this one, I colored this one, and this one, if you decided not to wear a mask, that's fine too, you color it just the same, okay? It doesn't matter whichever way you chose, it's totally fine. Um, so, I wanna talk to you guys about coloring the way that I want you to color, because we're not scribble scrabbling, we're not doing wimpy coloring, we're really gonna try to make it look nice and vibrant. And I use crayons, if you don't have crayons, you can use markers, if you don't have markers, you can use color pencils, whatever you have, you can mix all the mediums together, however you wanna do it. All right, so come a little closer, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by heavy and dark, okay? This, is not gonna cut it, okay? That doesn't look vibrant, it doesn't look even, it doesn't look the way that I need it to look. So I need you to push down. It took takes a lot longer, but we're not in a race. And what matters is that we're trying to make visual art look good, something that we can be proud of. All right, I would also say that sometimes kids will push down hard but then they don't get all the way to the edges. So make sure that you're pushing down hard, you're getting all the way to the edges, and you're drawing a picture of yourself. So you need to make sure that you're picking colors that make sense. Like I have brown eyes, so I wouldn't pick blue or green because I have brown eyes, all right? I wouldn't pick blonde hair, I have dark brown hair, okay? After you've finished coloring the outside, I need you to color the inside also. Okay, same thing, heavy and dark. This part of the eyes has to stay white on every single human. Everyone has white right there and you're gonna leave your teeth nice and white too, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to pick your favorite from your list, your favorite character traits. And if you need help spelling, um, you can ask one of your family members, right? Or you can even open up um, a document and type it and see if you can spell check it um, to try to get your words right. All right, and then in your, in your, on your artwork, you're gonna write some words. So I would say that I am, um, I would say I am loving. So I'm gonna take my time and I'm gonna do my very best handwriting because I want people to be able to read it, all right? I would also say that I'm brave. Brave when it comes to certain things, brave. And you're gonna spread your words out. I would say that I'm funny. Sometimes writing big is a little bit tricky. I would say that I'm dependable. I would say, I wouldn't call myself sweet, maybe. I wouldn't call myself silly, but I would call myself friendly. Okay, after you've written it and you know that it's spelled right, you're gonna take your marker, your Sharpie or whatever marker you used before, and you're gonna trace over after you know you've spelled it right. So 
So we're making art that's all about you. That's what this is. This isn't about anybody else. It's about thinking about your positive qualities and then sharing that with us. All right, now to make this look exciting inside here, you can add some designs. You could put some of them in bubbles. You could maybe draw some lines going around things. You could um, do like hearts and stars. You could do a swirl. You're trying to kind of fill it in and make it look really exciting because it's kind of a surprise when they open it up, when someone opens it up. All right, now you're gonna color this just like you did with your heavy and dark, okay? But what I'm gonna show you first is I want you to close it. So after you do this, if you have any pencils showing, like if you didn't get right on your lines, you're gonna wanna erase that. I love pencil lines, unless it's not a pencil project and then I can't stand them. All right, so now I'm gonna close it back up and we're gonna try to make him look more alive and more vibrant. So I'm gonna pick a color that I haven't used. So I'm gonna use a purple and orange. And I want you to add colors going out from your guy or your girl. And then I'm gonna have you add another one. See how that kind of just livens it up? It just makes it look, look more interesting. I might do one more color. I know I'm trying to make a video, but sometimes I just feel like it needs something else. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I want it to be really, really, really colorful and exciting to look at. I mean, who doesn't wanna see what this kid's got going on with all this fun directional lines? You can see cartoon artists use this kind of line a lot. All right, and then on the inside, you're gonna to wanna to color this section too. So you're gonna do colors on your hearts and on your stars and on your swirls. Just add color however you want to add color, okay? So here's our guy, and then we open him up and we see all of these positive characteristics. He's brave, he's funny, he's dependable, he's loving, he's friendly. Um, so I have one last thing I want to talk to you guys about, and that is Flipgrid. So once you get all the way done like this, not before, has to be totally done, fully colored, your very best work. Then what you're going to do is you're going to log on to Flipgrid and the link will be to the side and you are going to go on there and you are going to show us what you made. Make sure you hold it really still. Sometimes kids do like this. Like I made this. So you're gonna sit really still and you're going to tell me your name. Like my name is Mrs. Wright. This is my self portrait. When you open it up, you can see that my characteristics are that I am friendly, loving, dependable, funny, and brave. Bye.